Hello everyone, welcome to Not the Speakies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just busting your ball. Go, 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 go. So we'll start. Okay. Hello everybody, welcome to Not the Speakeasy? Please ignore the deep, hairy breathing. I don't know how you could tell it's hairy, but you can tell everything else about stuff is hairy, so. He's Zach. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. Yeah, we are. Sexy road, man. We decided to have some fun this week. Ooh. Son of a... And uh, come back out into the shop to shoot. Pecan. Yep. Uh, we've got uh, Rye 1. Is it Rye 1? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. I mean, obviously the word Rye yeah, is what they're going for there. One exponent. Yeah. That's pretty creative. Yeah. I like it. it. They should have done a chemical name like that for those guys that were in those small little like acetone containers. Oh, the still house? Yeah. They should have done a goofy name like that so that it would look like a chemical in a chemical container. Oh, that would have been cool. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So this is a uh, beam, beam Centauri product. Was it always? Like, did they come up with it, or did they buy it? Um, I it was released in the fall of 2008 by Jim Beam. Yeah, okay. So Then I believe Beam was bought by uh, Centauri in, um, 14? 2014? Mm, okay. I could be wrong. Which seems like it should be more recent than it really is. But, um... Maybe that's a product of us getting older. It could be. It definitely seems like it. Um, so it's a blend of several different ages of uh, rye whiskeys. The youngest is four and a half years years old, and they do that to create a uh, uniquely smooth and sophisticated flavor from what their website said. Marketing. Much marketing. Um, the intentional blending of multiple ages makes for a uh, higher proof, it's spicy, yet lighter rye taste. I don't get much of the big rye taste, so I, I'm going to go ahead it's, and... Yeah, it's really, it reminds me a lot of turkey. Yeah. It, it smells a lot of turkey, which turkey is known for their higher rye content than a lot of other bourbons. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, it almost yeah, yeah, yeah. leans towards bourbon. There's just... There's this note that comes in, not right away. Um, so not on the front, but in the middle. And then it stays for you after the finish. And it's this little... I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's that little, like, that it's spicy a twinge for me. Like, you kind of on the sides of the tongue. Yeah. And uh, it's... It's almost like a uh, an earthy, like plant type note. One might guess at eucalyptus, just because we hear the vault guys say it all the time. Um, I'm not sure what eucalyptus. Oh no, eucalyptus no, 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 was Vix, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, I it's don't a get that medicinal kind of Vixy. Okay, yeah. That's, so that's not. No, it. No, no. But it's it is an earthy, like plant toned spiciness almost, like hay or grass. Yes, but spicy. With black pepper on it. Yeah. Our uh, middle school chicken noodles. Yeah. On top of grass. Yeah. <laughs> but decent grass. Grass you would not mind chewing on. Look at this. Nice stick of um, rye. <laughs> 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 now, um, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot on it. It just kind of really seemed like um, Beam kind of wanted to uh, broaden their horizon a little bit. Even further than just bourbons and flavored whiskeys and they did have they do have their um, pre-prohibition style rye mm -hmm. but uh, rye along with uh, bourbon or whiskey in general it's one of the ones that's really kind of coming up and it was uh, I think they, did, they threw this out there just to kind of get their name mm -hmm. and a lot of the stuff is it was kind of a uh, you want to show them your notebook there, by the way? Oh, yeah. 
I got this. Went to the uh, Kansas City Renaissance Festival. I don't know how well you can see what it says, but it's, uh, it says, I don't care, I'm still free. It's uh, made in Minnesota, USA from a boar's head leather. Yep. They're really cool people in there at their little shop. Not a bad price either. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, really, maybe they just half-assed the marketing on this as opposed uh, to the to the uh, development. But it feels like they didn't put as much thought into this as you would expect for how good it turned out. Well, I like this better than Rittenhouse. Yeah, I think I can see why. Um, it was it was oddly enough, it was marketed more towards uh for blending, for for cocktails. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense. It's in a kind of classy looking bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's that's what you get when you hang out with uh you know, Cocktail richer people. Breakers. What the hell, man? How'd this guy make it onto the desk? It's Steve's lunch. Sorry, Steve. I'm not dealing with that. Anyway. Um, there's also like a, like a, man, there's also like a pine needle note I get on the nose that I'm pretty impressed with also. It makes me think of, uh, winter time, really. Yeah, and, well, we are rolling up on winter. Yeah. So you've got your, uh, tactical beard and your, um, flannel on. <laughs> yeah, uh. I just, so jealous. I mean, I basically have flannels year-round at this point. I would trade my hair for your beard. I would trade my beard for your hair. It sounds like we need to get somebody to figure this out. Although, I'd, I'd have to dye it darker. <laughs> you don't have to lighter. <laughs> How do you go lighter than blonde? <laughs> Sun bleached. Yeah. <laughs> you know the way it is in the summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when the ends are white. Yep. Um, I'm gonna give this an eight and a half, which might be lower than I rated the Written House, but um, I was just so impressed with the Written House because I found a rye I liked. Now I've found three. What's uh, the other one? We tried another rye that one week. Jim Beam. I thought you didn't like it. I thought it was okay. I just didn't. Oh, okay. It, it, it I didn't, didn't hate drinking it. Okay. Okay. Like I think I still gave it a six. Okay. It was... I'd rather had that than Henry McKenna. Yeah, I mean... And Henry McKenna is a bourbon. I should prefer bourbon by default. And Henry McKenna has all the classic bourbon notes. It just... Yeah. I would like to... There's, th this feels like they sucked a lot of the sweetness out of bourbon. Yeah. I, like, this is probably... For a rye whiskey, it's probably lower rye and higher corn. I don't... I didn't, couldn't find the mash bill on it, though. Mm-hmm. So, like, nobody the, the, has... The sweetness in bourbon's forward. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there's more corn. Yeah. Like, like I mean, you, I if, understand why. Yeah. I'm just talking from a taste perspective. If you told me this was 55% rye and the rest was uh, corn and uh, barley, mm -hmm. I'd believe you. Mm -hmm. Like, 55 rye, 40... Um, corn. Corn and mm -hmm. five barley. barley, I would... I'd buy that all day. So what would you rate it? I give it a nine. This is my favorite rye so far. Mine too. <laughs> I just uh But you know it's what Huh. Beam's still back on top, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a I need to try wild turkey's rye at some point. I I'm interested in trying that. And I think it's is just that, as much as the 101, so... Is that released at 101, too? I'm not sure. I don't know about proof. I, I meant price. Yeah. But... Yeah. Alright. Well, till we see you again, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. Hey, everybody. If you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing... Uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.